Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and I don't normally install mods in Minecraft, but today I decided I would try this mod because I saw some screenshots of it. This is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod, and it is pretty unbelievable. I think this is the future. Uh, I may, some of you Minecraft purists may disagree with me on this, but this is just incredible. I love the blockiness of it, and yet it looks so incredible like the lighting just really does it for me you can see the grass is waving of course they've got all these different types of mods out here but look at the water this is incredible you can see through it it's pretty clear it's rippling I wish I actually had some like water sound effects I need to get like an environment mod to do that and it runs pretty well I mean my computer is not I would say top of the line but it's it's a decent computer and and computers are just getting better and better so we're gonna see more and more of this I'm using the 32 uh, faithful texture pack that is actually out there just to show it off. It also works with BD Craft, although I think that the faithful texture pack actually looks better with this mod. Look at the water down here. That is incredible. I've actually got this wizard's tower over here is a creation of Vex. So it's not, I didn't make this. I just made it to show off some of the shadows that it, that it throws along there. And actually the time of day is kind of weird because it's not showing the shadows of this mountain over here. But pretty incredible overall. Let's just fly. Let's fly around. I've got it in creative mode. Just so I can give you an idea of what this is all about. So you can see the water. Look at the tree. Look at the forest. is real shaded. He's done a really great job. And this isn't even using they call it what they call god rays. Which make it even look more incredible. It doesn't look as interesting over there because there's no shadows. But this is... This version was actually made for 1.2.5 and I've gotten it to work in 1.3.2 and I'll put the links that I use to get it to work in my description but I will say that it doesn't work on all PCs right now just because of the incompatibility with the installer and all that. I know Sonic Ether is working on an update to it and I'll put a link to the Minecraft forums where I got this but I just wanted to show this off because I thought it was so incredible. Let's go over here. Look at the shadow being thrown by the tower. That's just amazing. So let me let me see if I can set. Let's go. Let's just fly over here. Let's fly on the other side of this mountain, and I'll show you. There's a huge ocean over here, and I'll give you an idea of what this mod can do. Now up here it looks pretty normal because we're in full sunlight, but look at this. So there's the ocean down there, and we're sitting in the shadow of the mountain. The realism of it, and I don't even have all the settings turned on. This is I've kind of got it set basic. But even just this wall looks incredible. Look at the water. And the shadows coming across the mountain. So there's obviously, if you look at some of this, whoops, I'm falling in the water here. If you look at some of the screenshots online, you'll see that things are actually, there's some issues with it. For example, on mine, I'm, everything's transparent, all the items. And But let's put down some just put down some stuff so I can show you what it looks like with the shadows being thrown down on the ground pretty incredible stuff yeah see it's already look at that it throws down a little shadow <laughs> I love it so yeah let's put it there we go and you can see the shadow of my character actually too but the blocks are transparent on mine and I think that's just a bug that they know about so there's that look at that I make a little house can sit under in the shade and most of the time in games, I don't really get too excited about shadows and that sort of thing. But in this game, it really has made a huge difference. Uh, I've got Optifine running too, and that's probably it's going to be in the description as well. But you need to have Optifine to actually even do this. And actually, for the first time ever, the chunks aren't loading for me, and usually they do. There's some water in that little hole over here. I think there is some snow over here. Let me show you a snow biome in this particular setup and give you an idea of what it looks like. Like I said, I don't have all the settings on, so you can actually see that the god rays are missing, so it actually would look a little bit different. Plus, it's full daylight. At night, it's really, really neat because of the the torches and all that sort of thing. So let's go in the ice biome. Here we go. Snow biome. Now you can see all the trees are waving. That's neat. All right. So there's the, now the ice looks normal, but it makes it just feel so much more real to me and I think that's a testament to how much they've achieved with this, this just simple shaders so that's pretty incredible anyway 
Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this mod and just give you an idea. Let me let's set the time really quick. Let's see. Time set. Uh, I forget what the nighttime. There we go. A little bit of evening light. Let's go a little further. Time set. Mm -hmm. Let's go even further. Let's go time set. Five. Oh, it doesn't really do anything, does it? I don't know. I don't know the time, so 14. I think that is nighttime. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So let me get a torch and show you what a torch looks like on here. So there's the light from the torch. Very nice. So that's it. I just wanted to show you kind of what shaders can do in Minecraft. To me, it's incredible. Some of you purists may not think so, but hey, you know, to each his own. I might continue to run with these textures just because it makes me feel like it's more real and more alive in many ways. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my quick look at Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders for Minecraft. Thanks for joining me.